Well, let's hope it's calmed down a bit since I was last there. These graveyards. I mean, I still need to have to look for the ginger swan tomb thing. I hope we're not to be interrupted by corpses. Well, it seems things have calmed down a bit. Good. Let's see, I think I left some ammo here, actually. Ah, yes. Ah, Ramirez is still sitting there. Ah, uh, yes, a crossbow. Let's take that with us. Well, he does like his classic movie tropes, doesn't he? Take that? Yes, why not? Ammo fool. Hmm. Hello, Ramirez. blood sucking thing working out for you. Not bad. How are things in the cemetery? Moon comes up, dead come out, hammer comes down. TV gets a uh, lousy reception. All in all, life's having a round swell. I am kind of surprised you you get reception on TV these days. I mean, isn't like antenna transmitting kind of like phase out by this point? Anything else you might need? Sometimes a man needs the kind of release Putting a 44 slug through a zombie's brain doesn't provide. Come on, you're a guy, you understand, right? Ew! Uh, ha 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 ha! Yes, I'll, I'll arrange that. Really? Second. You will? Great. I'll just stay here and keep watch. Oh, and uh, FYI, I like him a little, you know, stacked. Appreciate it. Right, okay. Ah. Oh. That was not something I expected to do. Anyways, first let's get to business. Mausoleums, mausoleums. Is this can we enter this? No. There's no name for Miss Sw Miss Swan here uh, either. Uh. Oh, I don't have to dig. I don't feel like digging tonight. Well, at least we know the caretaker is not going to cause problems with us rooting around here in the graveyard, as it were. I can enter. That's a plus. There are a lot of dead bodies here. This might not be easy. Oh, hopefully he marked it somehow. The grave of this Miss Swan. Oh. Boons. Is there? No. Oh. Someone's been rooting around here, that we know. These bones don't come out uh, lying here by themselves, after all. No, maybe it's the zombies. Oh, that looks like something. Oh, yes! This must be Ginger Swan's grave. A battered video cassette labeling a cheap and worn. Devil Spawn Flash Feast. Right. I thought it'd be more like Big John's farm or something. No. It's an even secret trailer. Now, where to find a video? Cassette player. Seriously, where to find one of those these days? Hmm. This Hollywood seems to have a feel of retro, like it's retro technology. Curse you. Fake moon? Let's get out of here before the zombies come back. I think that's the reason the zombies are rising, because the moon is a, is, a, is a holographic projection. I never thought I'd believe it, but those internet crazies were right. So off we go, let's see. Video player. Get the sim bin now. Oh well, we'll just deliver it. Be a proper little delivery boy. Cool cats. A taste to die for. 
<laughs> I could take up smoking now since I can't really die anymore and all that. Oh, hello, Mr. Policeman. Well, I'm not hungry anyway. Need to keep my uh, appetite in, to in check a bit. It's already a bit uh, precarious. Do you have a video cassette player, Don't Abrams? Have it, do you? Yes, I do have it. All this for tape. I didn't doubt you. all my shopping now. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. Mm. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first, this mm. tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hypes. So I'm not sure if I accept that apology. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. <gasps> Ew. What ugly things! Yeah. Well, yeah. what a waste! How was this fun? There was no tension there. Nice camera work, though. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. Yes. You can understand my concern now, can't you? Fun stuff. And why is this important to me? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help and track down the source. Us. And for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. I didn't think Nosferatu would get that ugly as in the tape. Hmm. And how do you usually contact them? Usually I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. Uh-huh. Well, that's handy. Kind of like a fast food delivery service. So you think this tape has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. Mm-hmm. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. Oh, the first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Oh. Look pretty complete to me. I got the gist of it. Where do I find a better copy, then? Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Hmm. Smut. Smut. Hey, all right, I think I know a few places. But before I start looking, I have some questions. Certainly. What can you tell me about Velvet? You've met VV, have you? Yeah, it? unfortunately. Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. She's also very manipulative. You need to watch out for that. Back to other questions. Certainly. Hmm. What can you tell me about yourself? In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. Probably, I like As movies. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Yeah. Being the Baron of Hollywood, it's impressive. I can do any project I want. All right, I am... Um, really am impressed. Who's the favorite person you've worked with? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden... Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, wow. and last but not least, Passive. Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit Bit lost of a name in dropper, time, but that's to be expected. The only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. I don't get that joke. Wait, can I be in a movie? Unless you're the most spectacular actor I've never heard of, your look would be a tough sell. But don't take it too hard. Once you're dead, there's no such thing as good publicity. Uh, but did you produce Killbot Jr.? I laughed at one. I make exemplary, not excremental films. Boo! Slipping a snob! Certainly. Anything with a lot of shooting and explosions in it is good. 
Oh, anyway, what can you tell me about the Nosferatu? The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. Yeah. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. I don't like they how often you say your city. I keep my politics out of their sewers, but I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. Same goes for me. In regards to you, Tim, I mean... Uh, anyway, any Certainly. more questions? Uh, anything else I should know before I proceed? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. A gargoyle? Hmm. I can see that's got your attention. Yes. What's with that creepy smile? All right, tell me about this gargoyle. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. Again, was it your city? I really don't like your attitude sometimes. I'm interested, Sammy. How do you deal with a gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as Talking? an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. One less gargoyle by the end of modern night. Mark my words. Good day. Well, hmm. It's worth investing. I think I read something about gargoyles. Let's see. I had a book somewhere. Yes. Thomothoric Ogita. E. Bankers, Regent, Chicago. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Tsimitsi, Clan Tremere, ah, my people, delved into further secret of blood magic, greater race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Oh. Good soldiers, then. Gargoyles are monsters. Vampires by virtue of blood and flesh. By virtue of blood and flesh, though, though which can, they can, they are created. Monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. Oh, so they were made by... F they are made from vampires? Is that right? Huh. Let's see, let's read more. Hello, book, please go down. Yes. Uh-huh. They are no more than deritrous, detritus of other clans, given a second chance to serve they are Tremere creators. Ah. Unfortunately, many are, have wrongly come to view their service as slavery, and have fled their, upon their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most uh, escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the companies of their own kind. Homunculi. For the most menial mindless task, many uh, Tremere create uh, what is called a homunculus. They are mindless creatures which uh, take many forms, winged, many legged, and otherwise. Monkey are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Interesting. Maybe I should talk with Max about this. Maybe he has some kind of spell to deal with it. A stone? I don't really have good tools to deal with stone. Not a stonemason, after all. Yes, well, we'll look into that a bit. Something ominous is afoot. I don't know what. Wait, let's get out of here before it finds us. I'm not in the mood for more ominous tonight. Oh, wait, I still have to get a, a date for... Shut up! You're not a... Uh, a date. Let's see. Buy a watch. Are you... Yes! Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Yes, I do need for a date. For a friend of mine. Okay, I'll play along. I have bad... Uh, Where's this friend of yours? I have a bad experience uh, with... Uh, with a uh, date. Anyways, uh, he is a caretaker for for a cemetery. Very well-paying oh, job. And no way am I going in there. What kind of freak are you? 
I assure you, it's perfectly safe. I already took care of most of the things. I don't know why I should believe you. Well, okay. But I'm going to get really pissed if you turn out to be some psycho murderer. Let's go. I am not a psycho murderer! Maybe some murders, but not psycho! Absolutely not. Uh, by the way, we do have to climb under this hole here to get there. Yes, I know it's a bit odd, but uh, I'm sure he'll pay well. I mean, he has a fine paying job and everything. He's a good man, that Romero. It's creepy hearing a footstep behind me. This place. Oh, no, nothing, nothing there. Uh, right, here we are. Night butterflies. Hey. Very nice. Ah, thank you. What can I give you for the assist? I'm glad you, uh. Glad you know, uh, you know. I have an eye up for quality and all that. Uh, money is always nice. Sure, here you go. Seems a bit tight, maybe a little more. Huh? Sure, hey. Ah, oh, would you look at the time? Me and, uh, girl here got some Couch Olympics to compete in. Couch Olympics? <laughs> Have ah, fun, my good friend. Oh dear. That does sound fun. Uh. Anna! Maybe I, yeah, I should fish this Anna. Out we go! I better not hear of him burying her somewhere at the end of it. Yeah, he seems a good sort. Hard working man, that Romero. So, um, Max, yes! Let's have a talk with Max about this gargoyle business. Hop in. Maybe Max knows a bit about smuts. Sure, why not? Santa Monica. Uh, no, downtown. That's where he is. I haven't been here in a while. Maybe I should deliver, like, a bag of poop to, uh, Croy's house and set it on fire. I'll teach him. Then again, I don't see LaCroix stomping uh, out any fires. He probably has that praying this goon do that for him. And I, uh, looking at him, I don't think he's really all that bothered by poop. Joe, if he isn't bothered by poop, he might not notice it and clean it off. And then LaCroix has to stand the smell of it all the time. That would be good as well. Ah, I'll think of something. He put a rotten fish in his meal or something. Hello! Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Hey, Max! Have a few minutes? Of course. I need some advice. Uh, I have some questions about gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? You've got a job to do and all that, sir. Uh... Seems that your theater and uh, since lives one in the old theater in Hollywood, and I have to deal with it. What can I tell you about them? Hmm. Well, uh, how do we fight them? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Oh. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hives are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Damn it! Blood force is the only thing they understand. You should get that hammer from uh, then. A uh, few more questions about gargoyles. What can I tell you about them? Hmm. What is a gargoyle exactly? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. Oh. They are very powerful and not to be trifled with. So, the Tremere... Do the gargoyles still serve the Tremere? Well, 
Many gargoyles still serve the Tremere Masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. Uh, they are a sentient race. I know but all about that. Unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Exactly. You have the right of it, Max. Um. Still, it sounds like you have personal experience in the matter. Yes. I know oh. something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. Oh. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Ah, so it's your creation, is it? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. Well, Isaac has asked me to get rid of that gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. Oh. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? Completely, I will protect the secrets of our oh, clan. I see that you've learned well. Despite the indiscretions of your sire, you are proving to be an asset for the clan. I thank you. And thank you, Neonate. No problem. What should I do with it? Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle Ooh. with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Ah! Oh. Uh, thank you! Good luck, young one. When you succeed in destroying the gargoyle, return, and I will give you an appropriate reward. Oh! Well, that's nice. Right, I'll do that then. Well, see, Max. Max is a reasonable man. Bit, uh, controlly, but otherwise reasonable, and I can understand controlly. I mean, yeah, so you need to have your people, uh, stay proper and loyal and all that. And that this gargoyle, uh, was once loyal and just went up and left? No, that's, uh, that's not acceptable. So we'll deal with that soon. Till then.